There's a serial killer. Police have a suspect, but the DA cannot convict that suspect of the crime. They are lacking body of evidence. And that body belonged to an innocent victim. Drone technology is being implemented in law enforcement every day. According to Donna Lou's 2019 article, she states, drones can narrow down a huge search area containing difficult terrain to a few points of interest. Drone technology can bring justice not to just living, but also to the deceased. That is why today I'm going to be talking about the value of drone pilots. With that being said, let's begin. In 2016, the FAA, which is the Federal Aviation Administration, released the Part 107 Drone Certification Test. This separates hobbyists versus professionalism. According to Cody Nicholas, Flight and Federalism, he states, Part 107 is a significant body of restriction and requirements for the operation of commercial drones. You need to partake and complete this test in order to make money with a drone. That being said, for many years, remote pilots have been looked by professional pilots like you're not the real deal, but you are once you're certified through FMA's Part 107. With that being said, let's go through the different airspaces. The different airspaces that are on the Part 107 test and also you need to know as a drone pilot are A, B, C, D, E, and G. But before we get into that, we're gonna take a look at the VFR chart, which is visual flight chart. As you can see here, this is your coordinates. This is what pilots need to know, but also as a drone pilot, you need to know this as well. Right here are different airspace rings. These tiny triangles are obstructions, and many times they are power lines. And if you hit this, you can cut power to entire city. You have your restrictions, you have your military zones, you have your longitude and latitude, and finally, you do have airports. Let's imagine this. Billy, he rushes to the store, he buys the Phantom 4 Pro. He gets super excited, he goes to his park. He decides, you know what, I'm gonna go super, super high. Well, he goes really high, but not knowing he is in unauthorized airspace. To be continuing with that story, he finds himself in class B. The different airspaces as a drone pilot, you need to be in class G under 400 feet AGL, which is above ground level. The highest is class A at 18,000 main scene level. The rest of the airspaces B, C, D, and E need authorization by air traffic control. Without that, you cannot fly. You will be penalized and possibly jailed for violations. Now, let's get back to our story with Billy. He gets so high, he says, no, I'm not gonna just go 400 feet. That doesn't apply to me. I'm gonna go super high. Let's shoot 1,200 feet above ground level. And you know what? I think it'll be super rad to get some awesome shots and you know what? My Instagram's gonna go off the roof. And you know what? What happens? Helicopter comes by. He says, whoa, that's gonna give me my moment of fame. Let me just get a shot. Lo and behold, he loses connection to his drone. And then he crashes into the helicopter. And the helicopter was a medical helicopter, which was carrying an organ for a cancer child who needed that liver. Billy's actions don't just affect him, but affects those around him. With that being said, the value of drone pilots is on demand. With that being said, the drone, drone opportunities in the workforce is growing. What that covers us, real estate, 
agriculture, law enforcement, even movies. Whatever that is, drones are the future. But let's take a step further. Let's say the future holds instant Grubhub delivery by drones and we get our pizzas. I don't know, it would be super fast and snappy and it looked pretty cool being delivered like that. And even maybe in the next 20 years we'd be like the Jetsons with taxi drones. I don't know what the future holds, but I do know right now to be a valuable drone pilot, you must abide by the rules. In an article by Randall Harbaugh in his 2018, he states, engineering challenges involved in designing drones are obvious. Less obvious are the challenges involved in designing the rules that will avoid conflicts between drones and other aircrafts. We need to be well-educated drone pilots. The control of responsibility is in your hands. You decide if you're gonna fly responsibly.